Boston. Brogdon outside. Smart on the wing. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but hate to play against. <laughs> yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Oh, Marcus Smart, a tenacious defender, which doesn't always show up, I think, sometimes, Doris, on the statistical sheet after the game. Well, and in fact, Kevin, different teams have different defensive metrics trying to measure that impact. All you have to do, though, with Marcus Smart is watch the guy work on that end. The way he tracks the play, the way he anticipates, just the energy he brings on the defensive end changes the equation. Clock at four. Jen. They get it back. Lays it up and banks it in. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack and, and where's the help defensively to me that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball these guys need to be talking to each other here's Brogdon battles through traffic and lays it in uh, you have to appreciate this about Malcolm Brogdon there's a level of physicality he brings to the guard position nice finish through contact and that was the mobile one drop well worth a second look and putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Pass to the closer. Got a piece of it. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Outside, smart. Now, here's Brogdon. T right on him. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Well, that's the attitude Malcolm Brogdon hopes to bring every night. You can't be passive. He is going to attack on the interior. Down low. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. good on the shot. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Tatum kicks to Smart. Pass to the closer. Here's Brogdon. It's deflected and he's able to get it back. The three. It's not going to go for him. On 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Jen. No oh, good with the triple. The Celtics with the lead. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the home team. I asked him about the speed they're going to face tonight. He said it's important that we don't allow this to become a track meet. We have to be patient and efficient offensively and, most importantly, get back defensively. Guys, he thinks that they can do that. They're going to... Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Jin, he's covered by Brown. Just two to shoot. To halt the run. 
and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Celtics leading by five. It's Brogdon on the wing. One fifty-one left here in the opening quarter. No good there with this step back chain. Gone 0 3 from three point land. Nothing yet going outside. Buries it down low. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. And Greg, up and down this Celtic trust, so many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Well, it's just outstanding distribution from Marcus Smart, keeping his eyes peeled in order to find his guys in their spots. Guarded by Smart. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And the shot goes in. <laughs> the defense looking completely lost. Marcus Smart just toying with them in the paint. Guarded by Smart. And it's good off the back rim and in. Just deadly from mid-range. He's got such a great feel for that shot. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. From 12 feet out, it's tipped. And he recovers it. Second chance shot. He nails it, and we're tied up. Five points in the game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. All right, there's the horn. It's a close. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. On the floor for Boston. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. Tatum out there with the closer, and it's smart in at the point guard. by Smart. And the layup's good off the glass. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Guarded by Smart. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And in this era of positionless basketball, of course, we're starting to see some guards who end up playing in that dunker spot down low more than on the perimeter. Let's call them little big men, Kevin. Guys like Bruce Brown, Gary Payton II. These are powerful athletes, unbelievable vertical spacers. They set great screens. They can finish as a roller. I love the use of these undersized guys who don't necessarily shoot it well in this role. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Brown outside. Back to Brogdon. The pass to Smart. Let's it go from 11. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. And that's now six points for Marcus Smart. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. 
He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. And Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. And so he hits both. And so it's Boston with it. Outside Tatum. Smart on the wing. Knocked away. And he makes good on the layup. He's got seven. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. It has been just outrageous. 64% from the field to this point. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. That one goes in. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. Celtics trail by six. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. Pass to Smart. Five to shoot. Guarded by Smart. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. The shot's good. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Brogdon, round the pass to Smart. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen. And they're running. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. To stop the run. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. And during his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Final. G.A., think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. Guarded by Tatum. The rebound by the closer. Celtics trail by six. Ogden looking around. Passes it to Tatum. Left side, Brown. Oh! My goodness! And he jams it with authority. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that. Alex making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Gone four of six in the field here in the second. Jen. No good on the three. Celtics trailed by four. Brogdon outside. There's the lob to the hoop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. It feels like Malcolm Brogdon, with every repetition, turns that passing from excellent to elite. One thirty-two left here in the second. Really left alone that time. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Pass to Brock. The 10-footer. He gets it in there. Brown's got his second bucket of the night. 
Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. He's covered by Brown. Good work defensively by Smart. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, rock solid 79%. And you know what I love is Marcus Smart just continues to improve. We know he's a powerful athletic guard, but he wants to keep building different aspects of his game. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Jin hands it from downtown. Five points in the game. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. The Celtics have made three of five free throw attempts. And Brown drops them both. Gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. From outside the arc, and no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Uh, the pressure that Marcus Smart can put on a. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at the closer in this game, guys. He's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And they call an illegal screen here. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. And for Boston. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. The closer is out there with Tatum, and it's smart in at the one spot. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Tatum has worked very hard to improve his finishing game, and that includes sometimes taking contact and earning a trip to the foul line. And he sinks the second. Yeah, you know, he gets them the lead at the free throw line despite the one miss. Over to the left wing. Inside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has six. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. Smart on the wing. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Brogdon kicks to Tatum. Brogdon the pass to Tatum. And the foul on the closer. That is his first foul of the game. a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Lock at six. Jin. 
No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the bump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. Poked away. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. You got him. And the layup is good. Tatum's got five now. Okay, Jason Tatum showing a little strength on that play. Pushing through the contact. Gets to his finish. That is pretty. Jin is guarded by Brogdon. Hit his foot. And it's being called a kickball. by Smart. Six to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Smart. No good on the free throw. That one misses. The Celtics with the lead. Three-pointer. That shot, no good. Guarded by Tatum. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And that one misses. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Austin has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Brown feeling out a bit. Got a hand on it. He's covered by Brown. Two points. That one goes. He has six. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. Took him no time at all on that one. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside, smart. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, what phenomenal work deep inside the post. Smart, willing, and able to get himself to the line. So both teams making some changes here. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Celtics trail by three. To the inside, Griffin draws the double. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. Here's the closer. He's got eight. 157 left to play in the third. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Stolen by Jackson. Misses off the right iron gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break to the middle makes it off the glass and, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there making the pass nice assist so the Celtics call timeout their first a minute 20 left to play here in the third Pritchard passes to Jackson now here's Griffin Outside Jackson with the shot. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Gone 4 or 6 from the field since the start of the third. Oh. 
Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Celtics trail by six. The pass to Jackson. Outside, White. 40 seconds left to play in the third. There's the dish to Griffin. Boy, well, guys, you have to applaud Blake Griffin's willingness to go from star to role player. There are guys who cannot handle that adjustment, but he has thrived in this new role. The Celtics have gone 7 of 11 from the line. Blake Griffin hits them both. 34 seconds left in the third. Fires the three. Blake Griffin pulls it in. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. He had a nice open look right there. White's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rise and fire from three point, and it is on target. And Griffin sends it back. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass first guy playing out of the two guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. to take the lead that one wide left listen he knows he should have made that shot we'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area and for Boston again on the wing he's joined by Brown Tatum out there with the closer and it's smart in at the one and it's blocked and they recover it heck and still knocked it down nice composure Celtics trailed by four. Brogdon outside. The three from Tatum. The shot comes out. Thing has been just great so far, up at 56%. And Tatum pulls it down. On offense, here are the Celtics. That's good from Brogdon. On the assist by Tatum. Six points for Malcolm Brogdon. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Jen it from three-point range the defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time Brown right side misses the step back jump shot gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play no good on that one and it's Boston the other way One is hammered home. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Here's Tatum. 
tries to save it, and they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. He's guarded by Brogdon. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. The shot's good. Brown making the play. There's so much confidence right now with Malcolm Brogdon. The catch and shoot, so pretty. Jin, he's covered by Brown. From 12 feet out, the rebound by the Celtics. The closers got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Brogdon. They double team Brogdon. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. For viewers, timeouts a, a chance to check your phone, grab a new balance player of the game. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. They get a hand on it. Passes it to the closer. It's good. This game is all even. No, just beautiful setup. They found the size mismatch inside, delivered when they really needed it. Jin is guarded by Brogdon. Jin tries again, and the layup is up and in. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. But to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Tatum no good. They came close there to tying it up. Oh, he had it in his sights. He wanted it. That bucket would have been huge. It's deflected. Looking to get back on track here. A shot missing. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Guarded by Smart. It's good! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to... 51 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Tatum. A second chance effort. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort. Love the energy. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And, and, and being taller than most point guards, he, he puts that length to use. Example A right there. Oh, and he caps that off in style. He gets the finish with the harm. Huge possession there to extend the lead. It's Brogdon on the wing. There's Brown with the three. Gets the three to fall. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. And now they decide to foul intentionally.
So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, the crucial part of those free Outside Tatum. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. It drops. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Brown finds Smart. Back to Brown. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Yeah, if you're going to be a franchise guy, you've got to want the ball in these clutch moments. Jalen Brown. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws, and he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. The closer, and so the home crowd treated to a win. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. I 